Hey guys, I'm your host, Lisa Raquel, checking in with Sheen Magazine, Media Girls Network. I'm on location today at the Four Seasons Atlanta, getting ready to interview the cast for the new BMF Black Mafia Family Series, coming to stars, produced by 50 Cent himself. This series will detail and document the stories of two brothers, Terry and Big Meech, who were legendary drug leaders who ran one of the world's biggest, most organized drug rings that expanded more than 500 employees, grossing more than millions and millions of dollars. So guys, this is the first time this story has been told directly from the source himself, Big Meech. So his son is starring in the show and playing Big Meech. So what gets better than hearing the story directly for the first time from the source played by his own son. This is gonna be an epic series that you don't want to miss. Make sure you get the exclusives and the BTS interviews on SheenMagazine.com. Hey guys, I'm your host, Jaleesa Raquel, checking in with Sheen Magazine. Today I'm sitting down with Eric Kofi for a one-on-one. We're talking about the BMF series that debuts on September 26, where you're playing the character Lamar. Whew, let me tell you, something about Lamar that the fans are gonna instantly know. This man is off the chain, okay? He's a, he's a little reckless, but let's just get into it. Let's I want to I want to know when you first got the call to be a part of the BMF series. You know, what was your initial thought? I was over the moon. Um obviously I I, I know about BMF, I know about the, the cultural significance yeah. that they had to like hip hop and stuff. And um you know, to um to be a part of that it was just amazing, it just being just incredible. How did you like book the role? Did you have a relationship with 50 Cent or how did you know about it? Um, I, it was an audition, it was a self-tape, yeah. you know, um, I sent it off and then I done um, an audition, uh, like a, uh, a recall mm. with like Tasha Smith and, and Randy Huggins and yeah. all of them and then, yeah, they told me that um, I got the role, which is dope. Yeah. And you are definitely an amazing actor from your very first scene on the BMF series where you're walking into the, I don't know if it's a fast food joint, but what was your before thought when tapping into that scene? Because you walk in, I was like, who is this character? When you know you first appear on the screen, screen, you walk in and you get straight to business, okay? You get active very quickly. You slapping around the guy at the fast food joint. I was scared from day one. I said, oh, he gonna be trouble, <laughs> trouble. So when you're tapping into those scenes where you're playing aggressive roles and you're going from zero to 60 like this, yeah. what's your before thought? How do you get into those characters? Oh man, I think it's it's um, individual for, I mean it's it's, spe it's specific and different for every single character. But I felt like with Lamar, it was more so of a sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is his block, yeah. and he wants it back. And there's no compromising. There's no negotiation. So whatever, whatever it takes, he has to do. I guess. Yes, he definitely does whatever it takes to get what he wants, but uh, that that is a fact during the entire series. I want to know, how was it playing a character that was so complex in the fact that he was a family man, he, you know, he loved his daughter, he wanted to care and be this great dad for his daughter, but at the same time, that, that past, you know, was holding on so hard to him, he couldn't really effectively do what he needed to do for his daughter because the streets was calling him, he wanted to reclaim his blocks. How was it going from a character where you're in the room playing blocks and dolls with your daughter to you're on the street knocking people off the block, literally? <laughs> you, know, you know what, I think, I think um, people in that life, yeah. um, I think they understand that, like, that it's easy, well it's not easy, it, it, they find a way to compartmentalize those things. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, if they're on the streets, they're on the streets. But at home, they're a family man like every other man. It doesn't really um, determine just because he's a gangster on the streets don't mean he can't show love to his family. You know, and, and, and a lot of people are like that, I feel. Not like all gangsters, but just um, complex. Yeah, very complex. You know? Um, very complex character. Do you feel like a like a lot like your character Lamar, do you feel that a lot of times people often lose the things that they're trying to hold on to the most, trying to chase something that is a past life? Because you know, he comes back and he wants this new life with his family, he wants to be this family man, but at the same time he loses that ultimately because he's too busy trying to chase the blocks back down, trying to get back in the street. So he lost the bigger picture. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, that's definitely a great way to see it. I mean, 
especially if you're trying to reclaim something, things are not always the same as it used to be. Yeah. And you're not the same as you used to be. So there's a change there. And trying to get that back is always going to be difficult. Um, so there's all definitely that conflict. Yeah. yeah. For sure. And how did it feel, you know, acting with Little Meech, you know, uh, being the arch enemy, the rival of the 50 boys? Like, how did it feel being the bad guy in, in the series? Because, you know, you get, you get active for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, um, it, it was dope. I loved, I loved it. And um, I mean, Offset, we're pretty much a family. You know what I mean? Like we're really cool. And I think yeah. that's what lets us kind of, I guess, take it there or go, you know, where because we, we're really cool with each other. So yeah. yeah, man. Did they give you a lot of background stories on the like the real Lamar? Like far as because you know the way they talk about your character on the series, you know everyone's afraid of him. He's crazy. Blah blah blah. Like, did you get to learn anything about the real Lamar and like what really happened and went down between them and the Fifty Boys? Yeah, actually. Um, so I got sent some articles about um, this guy who um, was from Detroit, and also um, I had opportunity to speak to Big Meech on the phone a couple times, wow. which was awesome. Um, obviously through through Little Meech, and um, he was telling me stories about about the guy, and um, it's funny because he he had he had like a, some respect for it, you know. Um, and he he also told me like he was like you gotta put your best gangster foot forward because he weren't no joke. Yeah. So you know, if Big Meech is telling you that, then <laughs> you need yeah. to get to work. You know what I mean? So how did it feel even being able to have that phone conversation with Big Meech? You're here acting in their series and story that's never been told. What was the most important thing that he wanted you to really portray in Lamar's character? Um, just uh, be 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 front footed. You know, don't 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 shy away from the madness. Um, yeah, definitely that. I'd say. For sure. And what do you feel viewers and fans will walk away really understanding about the BMF era, the the Black Mafia family, and what they really stood for after after seeing this series? Yeah, I mean, fundamentally, you would um, you would learn that there, it's nothing but family. It's all about family. The whole series is about family, and relationships between people, pretty much. And um, you also understand that um, Demetrius Flannery and Te and Terry Flannery. Um, were kind of, I don't, I don't want to say forced into it, but they were poor, yeah. very poor, in, and, and living in a place in Detroit where there was really no kind of hope and opportunity. Yeah. Um, but they were ambitious. I and, you know, and you marry that those two together and you, you're going to get something crazy. And <laughs> that's what their life told, you know. Well, congratulations. You definitely killed the role of Lamar for sure, guys. You are going to either love him or hate him. Probably hate him, but you're going to love his acting for sure in the series. So congratulations. Uh, stars BMF debuting on September the 26th. Tell everyone where to follow you online and connect. Um, Instagram, EK, a briefer, um, uh, Twitter, same handle. Yeah, Instagram and Twitter. Alrighty, guys, there you have it. I am Jaleesa Raquel, wrapping up with Eric Kofi. Make sure you guys are tuned in for the BMF series on September the 26th. You don't want to miss an episode, I promise you. Thank you so much. Check it out.